Okay, we're back here again in verse 18 of Acts chapter 9. And it says, And immediately they fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. Well, here again, I want to point out, we see this arose, and we see the scales uh, as it immediately left, fell from his eyes as it had been scales. It's just like his eyes were just open, like the, the covering or the film that had been on them was gone. And we're talking about a physical. He received a physical um, restoration of sight, but he also received his spiritual sight. And that's what this is speaking of here. And he was awoke, uh, awakened. Um, of course, he went on to be baptized. And then it says, uh, Then Saul, certain days, with the disciples, with which were in Damascus. I'm sorry, I'm distracted with this dog barking. I'm wondering what she's barking at. Forgive me. But anyway, you can see here that he remained with the disciples. Uh, and I'm certain that that was for learning purposes, teaching purposes. But I want to uh, flip over here to just a few chapters back where Saul gives an encounter, which is Paul now, okay? He gives an encounter of his, what went on there that, that day. And he says, um, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round me, around me. About me, excuse me, a great light about me. And I fell unto the ground and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise, and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. So here we get a little deeper picture. He's going to be told of all things that it's appointed for him to do. So I'm sure that had a lot to do with him spending time with the disciples. But anyway, it goes on to say, And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. So the light of the, glories, uh, of the glory of the Lord that was so bright had blinded him, and those that were with him led him into Damascus. And it says, And one Ananias, a devout a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. Let's see what I get to. And the same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, the God of our fathers hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. So God had chose Saul for um, something special here. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men, of what thou hast seen and heard. So see, it's all about, right here, here that is in, in verse 15 of chapter 22, okay? And it says, And thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. Now what that's referring to there is how he's seen the glory of the Lord shining from heaven. Uh, I'm not sure exactly 
but we know that he had a supernatural encounter with the Lord. Um, we know that he saw the glory of the Lord shining down. Uh, and I, I don't know, the scripture doesn't really say whether he saw a vision of the Lord or not. But anyway, we go on uh, to learn about, it says, I'm going to repeat this again. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. Um, this is very important. Because that was the whole point of the encounter that that Saul had. And then the three-day trial that he had within himself because he was struggling with the kind of person he had been. And the Lord was calling upon him. And it was creating a turmoil within him that was, I would say, causing him great difficulty, tearing him apart inside. Because he knew what he had been and, and the Lord was showing to him what he was. And then we see through this encounter and this struggle that he had within. And, and then he was healed of his physical blindness. And he came to the, <coughs> excuse me, he came to the point where he, he realized he was a sinner. And he asked for forgiveness. He repented. And all these things that he saw, and these things that he went through is to be a witness to others. Here we see that in this verse here. So that's why he went through what he did, his three-day trial of blindness, physical blindness, physical darkness, which we are going to see. And this is a good example of um, when we have this three days of darkness that the Lord has, I believe, shown us is going to happen. And and what happens within that time, we'll discuss later. But it is a time that is going to try those that are not in the bride. And it's going to try them. And it's, it's going to be a difficult time. Um, they are going to... It's a period of refinement for the backslidden. To refine them and bring them back because anyone that's ever been covered by the blood is going to quickly see they need to run to the Lord. Uh, now, other others that are lost, like we see Saul here, is going to take a, a bigger, uh, more personal, I guess you would say, a more personal encounter um, for a lot of the lost to see the need for the Lord. But um, that's what all I wanted to conclude with here on Saul, except for one other thing that I think we'll come back uh, in, a, in another video, because this is going to get into detail what the um, lost will endure. And I'll be back in a few minutes.